What's going on folks, Josh here with Shoe Photography, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a new piece of lighting kit from Godox. And that piece of kit is the R200 ring flash head for the Godox AD200 Pro, AD200, Evolve 200, or Evolve 200 Pro. This is a flash head unit that attaches to your already purchased AD200 or Evolve 200 uh, flash unit. You can use it on camera or off camera as a ring flash. There's a lot of different ways to use a ring flash and I haven't used a ring flash in a couple of years uh, so I'm really excited to be trying this thing out. To start off with, Godox did send me all of the stuff that I'm going to show you today for free. I didn't have to pay for it. I don't have to return it but they're not paying me to say anything. It's not sponsored by Godox. They're not paying me to say anything about this. This is all my honest opinion, and that's what I'm gonna give you. In this overview video, I'm gonna be showing you what comes in the kit, what you can purchase together, and what you can get separately as an additional product. Uh, they did send me pretty much everything you can get for this flash head unit, and I'm gonna go over how to put those things together and all of that. So this is just an overview video. I am gonna be doing a full on review. It's gonna be coming out in the next couple of weeks uh, after I get everything filmed and edited and put together and stuff like that. So if there's anything you guys wanna know about this after we talk about all of the kit and what's available and stuff, please leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer it either in the comment section or in my full on review video. So this is a ring flash kit and you'll see here it's on a cord. <laughs> it's on a cord here, um, but this attaches to your flash unit and this attaches to your camera or you can put it on a light stand to use off camera. In my actual review and using this video, uh, I'm gonna be doing both on camera and off camera to show you the difference in how it can be used. So now let's go to the overhead and show you what comes with the kit and how to put everything together. So these three things come in the main kit that you can get for $279. So you get the umbrella bracket, you get the bracket for the head unit and your camera, and you get the head unit itself. If you go on to Adorama, they have a $449 kit that you can get this uh, flash unit holder pouch, which is really, really nice. It also comes with a carrying case that I'm gonna flip back to the main camera. So it also comes with this case here. So the $449 kit comes with this big, huge carrying case that is specifically designed for the R200 and all of its accessories that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. It's got a very large compartment in here with dividers and pouches and stuff like that, but this by itself is $99 on Adorama or BNH. So it comes in the kit that you also get the other little carrying case pouch thing. It is really nice, it's really heavy duty. If you're not planning on buying the whole kit, I probably wouldn't buy this by itself because you can probably just use a, some other type of carrying case, but it is a really nice case for this unit. So let's go back over and show you. With the $449 kit, you get this little carrying pouch, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna show you how that will work once you get everything put together. You'll get all of this stuff as well, but you can just get the flash unit and these two brackets here uh, for $279. So prerequisites, um, what does not come with it is the flash unit itself. You have to already have or have purchased an Evolve 200 or an 8200 or 200 Pro of either of those variations. You'll need a trigger, you'll need a, a remote trigger, and then you'll need your camera and lens. Obviously those don't come <laughs> with the flash head kit. Let's go over how we are going to connect all of this stuff. So if we flip this guy over, you'll see two little mounting holes. That is for the bracket here. So you can do this one of two ways. 
you can either attach the bracket to here first or you can attach your camera it is a little bit easier to attach your camera to the bracket first so that's what we're going to do first what we're going to do is we're going to loosen these two wing nuts right here so that we can move this stuff out of the way and then on the bottom side there's some more wing nuts and this will loosen the camera bracket so these slide forward backwards all that good stuff so we're going to loosen all of those up because what we're going to need to do is mount our camera so for this little test i'm using my nikon z62 the old nikkor 60 millimeter f 2.8 d macro lens i really love this lens for macro shots and stuff like that and it works really well manually with the f to z adapter so what you're going to do is you're just going to grab this bracket you're going to figure out where you want to spin it on here you've got your quarter 20 little wheel right here mounted on here um, try and get it as straight or as centered as possible because you're going to want to center this into the ring flash unit itself so once we get that tightened down then we can set it down and we'll bring our flash unit over so we line these up you'll see the holes in here and then we grab our wing nuts with washers they come with the washers and we're going to just finger tight these we don't want them all the way tight because we are going to need to adjust not super tight you still want to be able to move them up and down then once we get that on there now we are going to figure out how we need to set this guy up we can even flip it up like this and see where we need to go here so once we figure out and we get it relatively centered okay we're pretty pretty well centered here so we can tighten these down the outside wing nuts tighten these guys down and I'm not gonna get it <laughs> perfectly even but I'm gonna get it as close as I can and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're as as level as possible this direction and once we are we're gonna tighten down these edge nuts these edge wing nuts So now you'll see where the camera is located. I'm not perfectly centered and that's okay because we can always adjust this if we need to. But once we do that, then we wanna bring our the front of our lens as close to the edge of this ring as possible. And to do that, we are going to make sure that these bottom wing nuts are loose and then we can bring our camera forward. So. You can just bring it down and slide it down until we're almost at the table or at the table. And then, so now if we look here, so now our lens is almost to the edge and we can then center it up. So then we can tighten these guys up on the bottom here. And as we notice, the lens is for is further to one side so what we can do is loosen up the quarter 20 nut here for the camera itself and then we can scoot that over until we are pretty close to center and of course I'm not gonna be 100% perfect but that's basically it so now you have your camera on here you still have down here at the bottom you have a, a quarter 20 hole here that you can put this onto a tripod put your tripod mount on here whatever it is that you want to do um, and you also can use this without the camera on it so that you can use this flash head off camera and i'll show you in the actual review video how i'm going to do that now let's go over how we connect it to the flash unit so we're going to grab our 8200 or evolve 200 and we're gonna take off the Fresnel head. So these come with the Fresnel lens head. And all you're gonna do 
is this little latch right here. You're going to pull that down, push it to the side to where it unlocks and pop that off. Then we're gonna grab the other end of the flash head cable. And this is the same head that goes onto the flash unit. So all we're gonna do is do complete opposite after we took off the Fresnel head. So all we're gonna do is take this, we're going to set it down into where it belongs, line up the little things, push over until it clicks. And now you are all set here. Then we put our trigger on our camera and now we're ready to go. But the one kit that I got obviously comes with this little carrying case, okay? This little carrying case is really, really nice for whatever you're gonna be doing with this, right? It comes with a shoulder strap, so once you get the flash unit into here, you can put that on there. You can add a carabiner and hook it to your belt or something like that. But what all we're gonna do is it, it is really tight. So we're just going to pull this in. And we slide her up. There we go. And then clip it here. So now the flash unit is here and they were really smart when they did this little uh, holder unit. They have it basically upside down so you can access all of the controls on the back of your flash if you need to. Um, it's a lot easier. And then you've got your shoulder strap here that you can connect to these little things here. Or like I said, you can add a carabiner and just hook it to your belt. But then you are good to go. Now the kit is together and ready to go. So. The kit does come with this with an umbrella mount. The only way to use this is when you are doing off camera flash, obviously, because the umbrella is going to be in front of the unit and blocking where the lens is. So for off camera flash purposes, what we're gonna do is we will remove the camera from the bracket, okay? So camera is off the bracket now, okay? And if we want to use the umbrella mount, what we have to do is we have to remove these two wing nuts. And that is possible. So then we put these little guys here, line them up, put our wing nuts back in. on both sides. There we go. So now we can loosen this little nut up and put an umbrella through and have the umbrella on here. We can either do it as a shoot through or you can turn it around and have it bounce. So however you want to use that, you can. So that is the new R200 kit from Godox. I am really excited to play with this. Like I said, I haven't used a ring flash in a very long time. I'm gonna do a lot of different variations of ways to use this ring flash, both on camera and off camera, and see how it works. Um, like I said, I'm really excited to try it, see how well it works, and if it's something I want to continue using throughout. So earlier in the video, I said what the main kit is, right? But there's a bunch of different accessories that you can get with this as well. One of the things that Godox sent me is the Beauty Dish Silver Reflector. So I'm gonna be using this uh, as well. So the next video is gonna be a really long video <laughs> uh, because I want to use all of these pieces of kit so that when you are trying to figure out if this is going to be something that's right for you, you have all the information that you need. So I'm going to be using the reflector and with the reflector, they also sent me some grids. So they sent me a 40 degree grid that's for the reflector, a 30 degree grid for the reflector and a 20 degree grid for the reflector. Also, one of the other things that they sent me was grids that are the same degree grids 
for the head unit itself. So these just clip on to here, even without the silver reflector. Um, that's why they're a lot smaller. So I've got a 20, a 30, and a 40 degree grid for the flash unit itself. The other thing they sent me was some color correcting gels for this ring light. So I'm really excited to use these. I use the Magmod gels uh, quite often with my Magmod modifiers to get the lighting and the color that I really want in my images. So having these gels is really, really nice. And I'm gonna be testing these out as well. So that's the entire R200 kit and pretty much everything you can get for this R200 at this time. Uh, right now, a lot of it's still on back order and all of that good stuff, but I'm hoping to get this video out really quick to give you an overview of what I have so that you can leave comments down below with any questions or things you wanna see in my real world review and testing of this entire kit. I can't wait to use this, it's gonna be exciting. I'm actually gonna be using it on Sunday just to test it out. I've got a maternity session that I'm gonna be doing. I usually use your Evolve 200 with a Magmod MagSphere and gels that I take with me for a really light compact kit because we are gonna be hiking into the mountains and into some uh, waterfall areas. This is small enough and light enough that I can take this and a light stand and my camera and a couple of lenses, keep my kit relatively light and hopefully get some incredible images with it. And I'll be letting you guys know what I think of that as we go. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, at the beginning I said that Godox sent me all of this stuff, they're not sponsoring this video, but they also sent me something else that was just announced. You're still not able to purchase it, but it's this USB microphone right here. This is the EM68G from Godox. It's a USB condenser microphone. It's really, really nice. Um, I've already tested it and I know it's better than the cheap uh, microphone that I used before. And I'm gonna be doing a comparison between this microphone and my old microphone, which it's, pretty much no comparison, but um, I am really excited that they sent this to me. I really appreciate them sending me this microphone. I'm not an audio expert or a microphone expert by any means, but I'm gonna give you guys my honest feedback and the differences between the toner microphone that I was using beforehand and this new Godox microphone. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave a comment down below. I'll answer any questions in the comments or in the review video as I move forward. And I'd appreciate you guys subscribing, liking this video, and sharing with anybody you know that might be interested in the R200 uh, or this microphone when it's available to purchase. Like I said, subscribe so that you can get notified when my new videos are uploaded. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Josh with Shua Photography.